Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey and thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I am kicking off my project pan for 2019. So I am so excited to do this. I've never done a year long panning project before. The closest would be last year. I decided I didn't really wanna do like a project pan for the whole year, so I was focusing on an eyeshadow palette which it didn't go so hot. But other than that, I've done like shorter term project pans, so like for three or four months and picking just like a few things. So this year, I don't even know how many products I have. Let me count. I have 18 products. Now I guess I could throw in like another one and make it a 19 in 2019, but I don't really feel like it. And I went through all of my collection and kind of like picked out things that we're either kind of like close to being done that just need to be finished off or stuff that I like really, really love but I just keep forgetting to use. I do have three different categories. I've got like makeup stuff and then I have like some body care, skin care stuff and then I also have a few hair care items. So let's jump into the two hair care products I have really quick. I have had pink hair for... A long time whether it's been like a peachy color or like a bright pink color or like a pastel pink I've just had some form of pink hair for probably three years and I love it I love pink hair it's so fun but recently I've been growing my roots out but you can tell there's definitely like some roots situation going on with my hair I felt like my hair just needed to break from like the bleach and I was kind of getting a little sick of the pink. Now if you've seen any of my recent videos my hair is quite faded like it's not like this vibrant pink it's very like maybe a touch of pink but kind of more on the blonde side. I guess this just leads to the products I'm wanting to use up. So this is the surface pure blonde shampoo and conditioner. These are great if you have pink hair or if you have like blonde hair and want just like a hint of pink every so often um, and the, sh the shampoo and conditioner are really great formula they do a great job of like cleaning and moisturizing your hair um, but I just was kind of sick of using them because I was like getting sick of my hair so the other day I added some more pink to my hair to make it like more vibrant um, which for that I use Arctic Fox I don't always color my own hair I usually get it done um, but I was kind of getting like antsy and I was like I'm just gonna add pink to my hair so I did it and I want to use up these because I don't have a ton left especially the shampoo if I were to guess it's probably around like here or so and the conditioner I do have quite a bit left in here um, it's probably to like here or so ish more so I just want to get these used up and like really soon because I want to change my hair one of my goals for this year is I just want to like do something different with my hair whether it's a hairstyle color I just I've had this exact like pink situation with center part and like waves for a really long time and I do love it but I'm just kind of I want to try something else. So I don't want this product to go to waste because this is expensive. These are like $30 each and it's not very much in here. This is 9 ounces and this is 7 ounces. And so I want to get my money's worth out of these because I paid for them and I want to finish them and then move on to something else. I'm hoping to get done with these like February. Hopefully. Okay, that was really long. The rest of this shouldn't take that long because that was like... <laughs> that was like explaining a lot that didn't need to be explained but let's move on to some skincare now these are some of my favorite facial sheet masks these are from yes to tomatoes they're the detoxifying charcoal paper mask and this is like a 10 pack of them I bought these a while ago and I went through a phase where I really really loved these and I do really like them but I haven't used them recently because I've kind of forgotten about them so I was going through all my makeup and skincare and stuff and I found these and I was like, shoot, I bought those a while ago and I need to use them. So they're in like a pouch in here and I felt it earlier, it feels usable still, like they're still moist and nice. Um, my guess is that there is two masks left, maybe three. Because this was a 10 pack and I've, I know I've used a lot of them. But I just keep forgetting about these masks because I have so many other masks that I like. And recently I've kind of gone away from sheet masks and have been going back to like 
slathering on masks. And so I want, I want to finish these off because I do really like them. But I just had them for a while. I need to get them out of my collection. Number four and five are some Lush products. And this is the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. And this is a product that you use while you're in the shower. You apply it after you like wash your body and it acts as like a lotion for your skin that you put on in the shower and you kind of like rinse it off. It's supposed to help a lot. This is the Lush Dream Cream and this is a hand and body lotion. Now I got both of these for my birthday this last year which was in May and so these will expire in May of this year which we're only a few months out from that and so I just really need to use these. I didn't want to use them for a long time because I was like oh save them for something special. But if I just keep saving them for something special, I'm never going to use them. So I just need to jump in and use these. Alright, to the makeup. Now I know this is kind of the exciting part, so we're just going to hop into some makeup. I have two concealers. The first one is from Glossier, and this is the Stretch Concealer, and I really enjoy this. I've had this for almost a year, and there's not a ton in here. There's still, I mean, there's definitely got some around the edges there, but I've used up a lot of this concealer. While I do enjoy it, it's definitely not my go-to concealer because it's in a pot and it's just kind of like hard to use. I gotta go in with like a brush and then blend it out with something else. The coverage is nice, but it is kind of like dewy on the skin, which isn't always my go-to for a concealer. And so I just, I need to use this. The second concealer is from Milani. And I want to include this purely because I just forget about this and I've had it for a while in my collection. It's probably been over a year at this point so I just need to get this moving. But this is the Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer and I do have it in the lightest shade which is Fair. And I've had this, like I said, for quite a while and you kind of have this like little sponge tip thing going on with it which isn't my favorite applicator but I do remember really liking this concealer. But I always forget about it, so I honestly haven't used this in probably six months. So I just, I need to add this back to like my rotation. I have one powder I want to use, and it's the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I really enjoy this powder. The issue I'm having with it, <laughs> packaging sucks. I don't use this every single day. I have like some other powders that I do enjoy using, but I really, really like this. And so I want to use it and get it done with just because the packaging is broken and sucks. And I've had a lot of Essence products do this to me. I'm not like rough on this. I don't think I've traveled with this. It's just like fallen apart from me opening and closing it a few times a week. But I have made some pretty good progress on this powder already. I don't know how much you can see here, but there's definitely like a dent in the pan. I'm not close to hitting pan, but I think I will probably in like a month, maybe two months. So I want to use this all up this year. So I'm including a face palette. This is the e.l.f. Total Face Palette. Ignore all the fingerprints and the lack of packaging on here because I've used this and used this so much and I love it. And this is what the inside looks like. You've got a bronzer, two blushes, and then this beautiful highlight. And I really, really like this palette. I've probably had this for at least a year and a half at this point. I really want to use this going into this next year. And I don't know what my goals are on this. I know I'm not going to finish this, especially because I have two other blushes and another highlight in this pan. This bronzer is one of my favorite bronzers and I've definitely made some progress on that. The blushes again are beautiful. They're super subtle. Everything in this palette is very subtle which is really great for my fair skin. I don't have to be like scared going into this palette. And then like I said earlier this highlight is beautiful and I've definitely made a lot of progress on that highlight as well. The one with like the least use is probably the pink blush. Um, the peachy blush I've used a little bit more than the pink one, but the bronzer has got a lot of use, the highlights got a lot of use, and so I want to make some progress on this. I don't think I'm going to finish this, but I want to hit pan. I think I want to hit pan on every product in here. I've got a whole year, so I think, I think we can do it, at least on like a few. 
We'll see. And then like I said, I'm including two other blushes. This first one is gonna be an easy one. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush and it's a mini, it's in the shade Party. And this was like the Sephora birthday gift like two years ago. And I've already made a ton of progress on this. I really don't have a ton left in here. And I don't use it very often because I'm like, I don't wanna run now, I love this blush but I probably just need to use it because I love it. And so I wanna finish this off. I don't think I'm gonna have an issue finishing this at all. And then this blush is from Bare Minerals and it's one of their Ready blushes. I think they might have like remarketed these blushes recently and they're like the Gen Nude blushes, but they're just like their blush. Like it's not like a loose powder, but it's like a pressed powder. And this is in the shade The Indecent Proposal. And it's like a really mauve colored blush. I am wearing it today. Um, it's really beautiful. But again, this is just something that I forget about all the time. And I have so much in here. And this is a very pigmented blush. So I'm not really sure how much use I'm gonna get on this this year, but I really want to hit Pam. This could be like, I, I'm probably biting off way more than I can chew. We'll just, we'll see. And then the highlight. This is from Urban Decay, and this is just a little mini. I got this in an Ipsy probably close to two years ago by now. But this is their, uh, high, their what are they called? High definition highlights or something? It's in the shade Sin, I know that. Um, and I actually had this in a project pan like a year and a half ago. Towards the end of 2017, I did a project pan like at the end of the year and I think I was using this for like four months and I thought that I was going to finish it up because I had already made quite a bit of progress on it and I swear I used this highlight like maybe, I mean definitely not every day but probably twice a week during that time and there is still so much product in here and I've used this a ton in 2018 too so like I'm a little hesitant that I'm gonna hit pan even. I mean, I'm really, really close. We're gonna, we're gonna see, but I just kinda wanna get this used up. I can't imagine what it would be like to actually use up a highlighter, and so I kinda wanna finish this guy up, even though it's like a little mini, but I do really enjoy this highlight, I guess I should say that. It's really pretty, it's kinda subtle, but it's just a really great everyday highlight, great for my skin tone, so gonna try and use this up. I have two eye products. Now I learned from last year, putting an eyeshadow palette in a project pan just didn't work for me. I wasn't inspired. I never wanted to reach for it. I just wanted to use different things. So I'm putting in an eyeliner, which this is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. And this is their liner that's like a brush tip. Um, this is actually brand new to my collection and I really, really enjoy it. So, I wanna use it. I haven't been using liner a ton recently. I mean, like today I'm not wearing eyeliner and it's just not my go-to anymore, but I really like this liner, so I wanna get back into the swing of using it. Um, I know liners you're supposed to kinda use up within like six months, so hopefully I'll get some good progress on this. I wanna use it. I wanna get back to doing wing liner. I kinda miss it. And then I have a brow pencil. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power and Universal Taupe. And I really enjoy this brow pencil, but recently I just have other ones that I've been reaching for, and this one is really great. I just haven't been reaching for it as much. So I kinda wanna finish this off this year. I'm actually pretty close to finishing one other brow pencil, and so my hope is that I won't buy another one and I'll just go to this one. But I've got a lot of product here. Like that's a lot of brow pencil. This will definitely last me like six months, especially this pencil. I don't use a ton of it just because it is pretty pigmented and it's not very waxy. It's more like slippy a little bit. And so I just, I wanna go to this cause I know I like it instead of buying something else. I'm gonna use this. I also have a pair of lashes I'm wanting to use. Now this might be something that seems kind of funny to have in a project pan, but if you've been around for a while, you might know that I never wear eyelashes. Like I never wear fake lashes. Um, I don't mind them. I just don't have like the time or patience or really like care to put them on. So I wanna, I wanna wear some eyelashes this year. I just wanna at least wear them once. 
Like that's like my goal. I wore no fake lashes last year. My goal is to wear them once. These are Baddington lashes and they're in the style Monroe. And these are like a silk lash and they're really pretty. They're like nice and kind of natural but like fluffy and flirty. And so I just, I want to wear these at least once. Like twice would be like miracle status. So one, I will count. If I don't wear it at all, I fail. And then I also have two lip products. The first one is from ColourPop and it's one of their ultra satin lips. The packaging is all rubbed off, but it's in the shade Strip. And this is what I have on my lips today. Um, it's a really, really great nude color. It's warm, but it's not like too orangey. It's just like a really great brown, kind of pink. It's just, it's like my one of my go-tos. This is the only ColourPop like liquid lipstick that I have, um, which it is very comfortable, but I've heard that ColourPop lip products like this kind of go bad pretty quick. And since this is one of my favorites, I want to use it before it goes bad. Even this morning, I went to put this on and it was like separated a little bit in the tube and so I just kind of like squished things around a little bit and it seemed to work okay. Um, but I want to use this before it goes bad because like I said, this is one of my favorite lip products and uh, I want to use it, not just let it go bad. And then the other one is from Glossier. This is one of their Generation G lipsticks and it's in the shade Cake, which is a really great, again, kind of like nude lip color. I definitely have a look that I go for, but this is the lipstick color. It's very subtle. I've used quite a bit of this. I've had it for like a year and you can see the tube is, that's all the way rolled down, but that's quite a bit of use. I've, I got this like, well, I guess it's been like 10 months and so not a full year and I haven't used it very much. The reason I'm wanting to use this is because I do really enjoy it, but I do know that they repackaged their Generation G lipsticks, so like this is a really skinny product. The new ones are a little bit fatter and I think they fixed like some packaging issues that was happening. And so before I go and buy another one, because I want to like buy other ones and see if it's like newer and better, um, I want to use this. So I want this to be like my everyday lip color. If I were normally to just kind of like go in with a gloss, I want to go in with this because it is such a great everyday color. 2018 for me was like the year of the balm. Like I, not the balm, the brand, but like the lip balm. I just couldn't stop using my Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. I have a Franken Body lip gloss that I love. I've got like a few other like lip balmy kind of products that are literally my go-tos and so I carry them with me all the time, but I want to use this because I really do like it. It doesn't feel like anything on the lips. It's definitely more of like a matte feeling. Like it doesn't, it's not gonna be like glossy on your lips, but it doesn't feel mattifying. It actually kind of feels like a light lip balm. And so I just, I really want to get some use on this. And then the last thing, this is a perfume. This is the Prada Candy little roller ball. And this is another product that was in the panning project that I was doing at the end of 2017. I thought for sure I was going to finish this in the like four month period. I didn't really come close. <laughs> I haven't used this super frequently recently and I went to put it on the other day and I feel like it's kind of starting to smell a little different. Like it's definitely getting a little bit more of like a plasticky smell. So I want to use it because I do really like it. So. I am wearing it today, which it smells fine on the skin. It's just like in the container. I'm like, mm, it's slightly starting to like turn a little bit. So I don't think I'm gonna finish this, but I just wanna get some use out of this before it goes bad and before I have to toss it. All right, those are all 18 of my products. If you are doing a project pan this year, or if you're trying to finish up some products, I would love to hear about what you're finishing up. Or if you finished up some things recently, I'd love to hear about those too, which, I have been finishing up products a lot recently. I've got an empties video coming up after this one, so on Friday I'll be posting an empties video, maybe even before. Last week I did three videos, we'll, we'll see if I do three videos this week, but my next video after this one is going to be an empties video. I love empties videos, and project panning just is like 
coincides with it. So it feels so nice. It feels nice to finish things. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would love to have you around. And until next time, bye, guys. Oh, also, I will be doing some updates periodically, probably just like quarterly on my project pan, um, but be on the lookout for those. Bye, guys.